Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee end of course practice test for Algebra 1 test number 3, question number 65. So it's the last one on this test, and this is the last of all three of the Algebra 1 ones. So I guess I should feel relieved other than the fact that I decided to do all the Algebra 2s as well, so I'm really not done. Anyway, the question says a toy manufacturer takes approximately 15 minutes to make a batch of toys and 12 minutes to package those toys. Which equation can be used to determine the total time taken to make and package uh, in batches of toys. Now, this is one of those types of questions where I guess you could make a chart if you wanted to. Well, one package of toys, or yeah, one package of toys would be 15 minutes to make and 12 to package, so that's 27. So, 127. Two packages of toys would be 15 plus 15 plus 12 plus 12, so you're looking at something like 54. And then three, you could keep going on and on and on. But the reality is, and then you just plug in n values and see if you can match them. So in the first one, I know that if I plugged in two, for instance, well, 12 times two is 24, but it's supposed to be 54, so I know this one isn't right. And this one, 12 times two plus 15, well, I do 24 plus 15, which gives me 39, so I know that one's not right. In the next one, if I plugged in two, I'd do 27 because 15 plus 12 is 27 times 2, and it gives me 54, so C looks right. And then 15 uh, times 2 plus 12 uh, would end up giving me 42. So I know it's not this one either, so it's got to be C. Now, if you thought about it logically, it would make the most sense anyway that it was that one. Each case, or each time I have to make a package anyway, I have to make the toys and then I have to package them. So anytime I make a big package, I have to do both of those things. In the first case, all it addresses is me packaging them. If I were a packager or something, or one department, maybe I could use that equation, but it doesn't make sense if I have to do both. The second one, I'm assuming that I guess the toys are all made for every package in 15 minutes. But this says that um, it takes him, or it takes the group 15 minutes to make a batch of toys, so one batch, not all of them at the same time. And then D, it says that we're as essentially we're making the toys every time, but I can package all of the groups, uh, every batch of toys, all in 12 minutes. But that's not what the situation says. It says each time I make it, I have to package it and make it. So C is the only time where I'm addressing both of those activities with each individual batch of uh, toys that I make. So the only logical choice to number 65 was C, but I mean you're welcome to go ahead and work it out and make a little table and then just plug in the values. Both of those situations work just fine, but I just wanted to alert you to the fact that maybe you could have gotten around a little bit of work if you didn't want to do it. So that's it.